Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers, and uh, we won the die roll against Jose BR. Name sounds familiar. I think we've played against him before. Lurus of the Dream Den has entered the revealed card zones. Uh-oh, someone's playing with a companion. A nice little companion. All right, two collected companies. An unclaimed Gale Rider, a leeching. I think I'll keep. This isn't... We gotta curve into some more lands here, but uh, I think this is reasonable. Uh, well, they're gonna know. Just play Sliverhive. We got Gale Rider. Jose, what you got for me? Mono White Devotion? Whenever Boris Elite and two other gets plus two. Mono White Aggro? That's sweet. I like that, actually. Um, do we want to drop that now? I think we do. We're going to need to pump out some creatures, that's for sure. So we play this now. We can put down a Bone Scythe if we want. Beginning of combat, on your turn put a... Oh, ooh, that's gnarly. Ooh, I'm bringing in Fatal Pushes for all these guys. I don't know if I want more Fatal Pushes in the sideboard. Let me know what you guys think. Should I, like, put a full playset of Fatal Push in the sideboard? I'm questioning if, uh, if I should. Okay. I could drop this. We could go Collected Company, too. Maybe we go Collected Company... Uh, hmm. What can we get that could, like, help us in this? I think... I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna pass, we're gonna hold up Collected Company. I think that's what I want to do here. We'll let them go to attacks, and then we'll try to... I'm just trying to think what we could get that could help us in this situation, but maybe if they attack in with Aspirant, we can trap it. Another... Oh, frick me. Okay. That's, uh... That's gnarly. Are they just gonna stack up on this boy? Ooh. I guess first strike would be good. Oh, they passed. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they meant to do that. They definitely should have attacked. Just a leeching? Oh, frick me. Okay. Okay, just a leeching. Well. We could go another collected company. Or we could just drop Bone Scythe. Get in for a good amount. Three, six, and then nine. We could get in for nine right now. I think I like that. Just putting down him. And just getting in there for a lot of damage. And we can seal up the game next turn with like Leeching Sliver. Bang. Good hit. These aspirants, though. So, this thing's gonna get really big. Thalia's Lieutenant. Hmm. That's a lot of damage, but we just need to survive one turn. Make them all three threes. Okay, 7, 10, 13. Do they have a buff for 5? 
Is there a one mana buff for five? That's what they need to kill us here. Because if I block, I lose my Bone Scythe. Then we're not guaranteed a win. I think I just take here. I'm scared of that one mana they're holding up, but how? I don't think they can do five extra points with one mana. I could be wrong, but I guess I'm playing for the knowledge that could be a blowout to kill me. But it doesn't look like they have it. All right. All right. So it looks like we just uh, we just win here. We'll slam this. Call it a day. All right. Cool. Um, Fatal push. Come here. Mortal sun. Goodbye. Icon. Goodbye. Uh, I didn't see a lot of like targeting from their side on our stuff. Exile target creature with power or toughness, one or less. Could potentially hit some good stuff. I think I'm going to bring that in. I want the Bone Scythe. Drop a Metallic. Do we drop our Hive Lord? We could drop a Diffusion. Oh, let's try like that. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Mono White Aggro. Bit scary. But it seems like our clack our clack? Our clack? Our clack might be a little bit stronger. Uh yeah. This is a keepable hand. Again, it's like we gotta curve into our collecteds, but two collecteds, we can pay play out all the rest of our creatures, so. Get in the air. Get in for some decent damage. That's nice too. Not soldier, we want sliver. Pass. Protection from multicolored. Okay. And there's Hasda Marshall. So they can start going a little bit wide. Interesting. Sliver Hive. Alright, that's nice too. I'm going to play the Mutavolt out first. Uh, let's just drop the Predatory. And I'm just going to race. I think we can get the better clock here. Especially once we drop Leeching. And then we're just going to drop the Siphon Bomb on him. Start gaining back all the life. I just don't want to see any silly trickery. Sacrifice a desert, control, get plus one, plus one. All right, we got to watch out for that. Pay one life and add. Okay. Now, this looks like a trap. I'm going to take. I don't want to block and get blown out. This looks like a trap. Keep pulling into lands. That's good. Should I just dra drop the siphon now and really put him on blast? Be like, hey, watch out now. I just gained a bunch of life. It would be mana efficient. Conversely, I could go leeching and attack with Mutavolt. Did I already play a land? Oh, I already played a land. Never mind, I can't do that. Uh, I forgot I already played something. Um, yeah, let's just go... Let's be mana efficient. We put a big body on the board. We swing in. We gain four. Go back to 19. They drop to 14. Okay. If we can pull into some kind of good land to get Collective Company going, 
That's like GG. Okay, they got Gideon. That's that's gonna be a problem. They're going for it right here. Ah, uh, so they can give plus one plus one to everything. Three for five. Take the five. Fatal push. A non playable fatal push right now. But I mean, we're racing quite a bit here. All this feels really nice. We're gaining a lot. We're hitting for a lot. How much are we even hitting for right now? Uh, I don't even know. 10? Oh, do we just have them right here? Oh, they go to 1? Woo! Woo -hoo. Owie! All I know is we're gaining a lot of life, and that's what I care about. But they're at 1. I think, uh, I think we're good. I don't know if there's a way that they can uh, do this. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Cool. Good game. Mono White Aggro winning it out against, uh, you know, we won. We won. We won. I'm not saying they won. We won against Mono White Aggro. So if you enjoyed that, please leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. Try and hit the 1K. I appreciate the support. Just try to, you know, make upgrades in the YouTube community and stuff. So any support you can give, please subscribe. And I do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more Popper Slivers. At the end of the week, we switch back a little bit to Monday, Friday Popper Slivers. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know. And we will see you guys in the next one.